Thank you everybody for, for coming. This is the first time we've kind of all got together to tackle what is long-standing intergenerational inequality within our area. What we do locally matters more than ever before. Today's summit is just acknowledging actually the really stark inequalities that exist in Bath and North East Somerset and which have stubbornly persisted for literally generations. The summit is very much about a collective call to arms, so it's bringing lots of people together across all of the Baines sector. We have a real issue in Baines. We have a Bath city which is very homogenised, it's very wealthy, but my goodness, we have some significant poverty. We also have a rural community that has lots of issues, particularly around that infrastructure of transport, um, housing, etc. And we have to really deal with that. In Bath in particular, the gap has, has grown significantly. So that the wealthy have got really, really wealthy, while the people at the bottom have stayed where they are. What, why is that? What, what, are we, what are we doing right and what are we doing wrong? And how can we help reduce that? Those places where inequality is high are the unhappiest places. So that's why it matters that we tackle these problems. All right. Otherwise you create an unhappy place. Bath is unhappy. Education can be like a ladder out of inequality, even if it's at the very lowest level. Just changing someone's life so they can use a computer or that they get out of the house more so that, that means they can do step number two. So my commitment really is to use the resources we've got at the college to reach even more people. Uh, my officers see the worst part of inequalities. Bath is one of those areas which has got affluency and inequality so it's where do you put your money and what is it that you're trying to resolve until we can like change that narrative otherwise we'll be firefighting all our lives if the numbers are telling you that the outcomes aren't being delivered then you've got to think about whether or not what you're doing is the right thing i think the coordination issue is something that we really need to understand because if we're if we're not working collaboratively with a single purpose, that makes addressing those levels of inequality more difficult. We're going to have to talk with our, our communities. We're going to have to go local. We're not local enough. I think we need to involve our businesses and we need to use all the rich data that we have from our public health colleagues. They've got amazing data and I think that data then can be put into the communities and we can really target appropriately what we need to do, which I don't think we're doing at the moment. Change. <laughs> Change for good. Um, we've, got, we've just got to act differently, we've got to think differently. We've got to remember that Human beings are amazingly creative and innovative, but if we can just bring our collective skills, talents and expertise together, we can crack this. Yeah.